In this video, I'd like to review the traditional method of subtraction. And the traditional method of subtraction uh, should be fairly uh, comfortable with most fourth grade students, uh, but we'll go ahead and review that today. Um, for instance, if we had the problem 867, and we subtracted that from 529, we would first start in the ones column, and we would ask ourselves, can I take six ones away from nine ones? I can't take six ones away from nine ones. So I go over to the tens column, and I borrow. I borrow ten, well, uh, ten ones from the ten column. So now I no longer have six tens, I only have five tens. But instead of seven ones, I now have seventeen ones. And I know that seventeen minus nine is eight. Next, I look over to the tens column. I now have five tens subtracted, or five tens minus two tens, and that is just three tens. And then I have eight hundreds minus five hundreds, and that is three hundreds. My solution is 338. Additionally, if I had four, 504 minus 327, again, I will begin in the ones column. But I cannot take four ones away from, or I cannot take seven ones away from four ones. So I can't do four minus seven. And I can't uh, borrow from the, the zero in the tens column. So I need to go all the way over to the uh, five in the hundreds place. And I need to borrow ten tens from the five in the hundreds place. So now I only, now I have four hundreds. But now I have ten tens. And again, I cannot do four ones minus seven ones, so I actually have to borrow ten ones from this ten, from the ten tens in the tens place. So not only do I have nine tens, but now I have fourteen ones. So fourteen minus seven is seven ones, nine tens minus two tens is seven tens, four hundreds minus three hundreds is one hundred. So my solution is one hundred seventy-seven. Lastly, if I had 734 minus 287. Again, I can't subtract 4 minus 7, so I go over to the tens column, I borrow a 10, making this two tens, and making this now 14 ones. 14 ones minus 7 ones is 7 ones. 2 minus 8 in the tens column. I can't do that. So I actually have to go over to the hundreds place and borrow 10 tens, or 100, from the hundreds place. Now I'm left with 6 tens, and I can add, right? Well, now this is no longer 2. This is no longer 2 uh, tens, but 12 tens. So 12 tens minus 8 tens is 4 tens, and then 6 hundreds minus 2 hundreds is 4 hundreds. My final solution is 447. And this has been a review of the traditional algorithm, the traditional, the U.S. customary way of subtraction.